Hey everyone, it's Camille there. We've covered a bunch of cool video transition effects in our tutorials. Today, get ready for something a little more advanced and super creative. Just follow the step-by-step -step instructions in this tutorial and you'll be able to master this. Alright, if you're into this topic, keep watching. First, let's open VideoProc Flagger. If you haven't downloaded it yet, just get it for free from the link listed in the description box below. Next, we import the footage into VideoProc Flagger. Then, we place the music clip on the timeline. Now, press M on our keyboard or right-click the mouse to mark the music beat. After that, we drag the video clips one by one onto the main track. Adjust the durations of the videos according to the marked beats. Like this, we match them match perfectly. Now we move the playhead to the starting points of these two videos. Click here to take a snapshot of the current frame. Next, we visit this website. With this browser-based tool, we can extract the buildings from the snapshot image. We can also use a brush to refine the cuts out buildings. Then we add the cutout image to VideoProc Flagger. Add it to the overlay track. Place it over here, right between these two videos. Let's shorten the duration a bit. Around 1.3 seconds should do. Then we go to the Inspector panel and select Fit to the Screen Width. Let's drag the playhead. We'll notice that the image suddenly appears in the frame, which might look a little bit abrupt. Now, let's click on Motion to add an entrance effect. We add a keyframe at the starting point and adjust its selection box. Then, we move this box upward until no building is included. Let's add another keyframe at around 0.6 seconds second. Modify the position properties, changing the Y value to 187. This can make the selection box show in the center of the screen. Finally, we set a smooth speed down number 1 as the speed transition mode. Let's play this and see the effect. Now we get this building growth effect, but the transitions in the background still seem a bit abrupt. Let's find the transitions section in the top left corner. In my case, I choose Wipe Up as the transition effect and shorten the duration a little bit. Of course, you can also try out other effects if you like. Let's take a preview. Hmm, not bad. Next, we add another snapshot image on the overlay track. Select Fit to the screen width under the Inspector panel. Here, we can further shorten its duration. Then we add it here. As we observe the frame, we can see that the statue is on the left side. So it's better to make this entry from the left side of the screen. Let's click on Motion. Just like before, we add a keyframe at the starting point and resize this selection box. Then, we move this box towards the right until there are no buildings shown inside this box. Add another keyframe at around 0.6 seconds second. Let's modify the position properties, changing the X value to 333 to make the selection box show in the center part of the screen. 
finally, we set a smooth speed down number one at the speed transition mode. Lastly, just like before, we add a suitable transition effect, such as wipe right. Let's play it and see the effect. Hmm, it looks good. This is all for today's video. In the next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make this amazing building growth effect. Make sure to follow our channel so you'll get notified as soon as we post the next tutorial. Feel free to find more video editing tutorials in our homepage. See you in the next tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!